Established in 2011, East River Foster Parent Network guides families throughout their foster care journey. And the nonprofit organization got its start by assisting a few children each month, but that number has grown exponentially. East River served more than 300 kids through its clothing closet during the first six months of 2022, more than all of 2021. And tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Travis Fossing introduces us to a pair of families who have fostered and adopted children and shares how you can get involved with foster care. <laughs> it's game night for Jennifer Johnson, Scott Keckler, and their three adopted sons. Scott is a pediatric surgeon, and Jennifer is a rare textile dealer. But 20 years ago, they chose to foster and didn't have the cash to buy boardwalk. We didn't have two pennies rubbed together. I mean, we were, but. We just did it. Fine. I'll go 300. Yeah. We were very young. Very young. We were yeah. the, I remember when we went through our training, we were the youngest ones. <laughs> By far the youngest By couple. By far. Yep. After completing their training, the young couple had a plan. Our original intention was to do just emergency placement. And the social worker contacted us and said that she had had a couple of boys who were in different families and if we would be willing to take them under long-term care so they could be reunited with themselves and we said sure. They were a sibling group of three that had never been together. Suddenly they were fostering three kids and when a different family's plan to adopt the boys fell through, hey. Scott and Jennifer changed their tune again and adopted Adrian, Gabe and Nathaniel. It was the right thing It was the right thing to do and you know it changed our lives completely. Um, you know, and we just, I, I think it was the most fundamentally um, important decision we have ever made. Shortly after the adoption, the family of five moved to Missouri. They made their way back to South Dakota in 2019 and landed in Sioux Falls. Today, Johnson is a board member and volunteer at East River Foster Parent Network. It's a great, amazing group of people that are enthusiastic, that care that um, are doers that want to see things happen, that really um, believe in their heart, they're the mission of the organization, and um, it's pretty wonderful. An organization that's always on the lookout for new foster parents. We need more people to participate, and you don't have to be in a situation where you can take you know, 10 kids or you can take, you know, five kids or whatever. You can take maybe one or maybe you can only do respite or you can only do emergency. We need everybody. We need everybody. Scott and Jennifer's first fosters were their last. Forward one. Can I have this one? That wasn't the case for the Globkey family. Shannon and Gwendy Globkey have been fostering for 15 years. The story begins with a friend of Gwendy's biological daughter, Taya, who's now a social worker in Minneapolis. I'd pick her up and there would be her friend and no one was there to pick her friend up and I would bring her home with me and she ended up in foster care and we couldn't take her because we weren't licensed. And so he said to me one day, let's stop talking about fostering and let's go do it. Two weeks after getting licensed, the Globe Keys got their first call. We took in a young boy and a girl and that started the, our journey in foster care and that was a short placement, maybe seven or 10 days. Over the years, the Globe Keys have fostered about 80 kids with stays ranging from one day to three years. Shannon says the goal is to return every kid to their birth family. In some of the cases, it just doesn't happen. And when they're in our family, I think you'll agree that we treat them from day one like they're ours. You know, we want to love on them and take care of them. And so naturally, you become attached. And then so when they don't have a home to go back to, for us, it's always been a kind of a natural progression. OK, though, this child needs a forever home, and we end up adopting. <laughs> They've now adopted five kids. William in 2011, Macy through a private adoption also in 2011, brother and sister Sean and Bella in 2020, and two-year-old Deshaun earlier this year. Deshaun, and as I was saying. Despite fostering dozens and dozens of kids, the Globe Keys don't always say yes, but are willing to listen and ask questions. How many kids and what their ages are and any difficulties they may have, and then we have to make a decision for our family whether or not that's right. You don't have to take all the placements. You can make decisions for you and your family 
on what kids will fit best in your home. The Globe Keys have this advice for prospective foster parents. You can always get licensed and try, first of all, with doing like respite care, where you only watch them for a few days or maybe a week, and that gets you kind of in the door, gets you uh, feeling how it is to have children come into your home. I would say to do it. It's, <laughs> it's been rewarding, fulfilling. Yeah. The Globe Key family isn't done fostering and won't rule out another adoption, and for good reason. We're really the ones that have been blessed. We've received an entire family, five children that we've adopted through foster care, through, through adoption, and how much more could we ever give back than what we've gotten. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Travis Fossing. Uh, it is an issue dear to my heart, and they do. The kids give you way more than you could ever give them. Well, East River Foster Parent Network is looking to expand its clothing closet by moving into a larger space. The nonprofit organization is hoping to raise $50,000 by the end of 2022. If you would like to donate your time or resources, or if you're interested in becoming a foster parent, we provided a link under this story at kelloland.com.